I Gentlemen, suppose. how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, good, thanks. Good, 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 good. Congratulations on the show. Thanks, Scott. Appreciate it's, it. Uh, it's pretty epic thus far. I've only watched the first two because I like I don't like to like blitz everything. So I'm taking my time to kind of oh. immerse myself in in this in this world. Uh, maybe I'll chuck this to you, Leo, first. This question I've asked your co-stars this. What's it like for you guys as actors and as people to to be outside with your mobile phone, with your with your great food and your all the things that you get in 2022 to then go into set and step into this world? It must be a bit of a kind of a culture shock in in some ways and then put on the garb and everything that must be it must be a culture shock but also loads of fun culture shock for sure loads of fun and as an actor really helpful it's to to be able to immerse yourself in a world if you're trying to portray a character truthfully and to be surrounded by such believable sets breathtaking scenery it makes your job a lot easier and as you say it's it's fun at the same time yeah sam how about you yeah, certainly. Our head of produ uh, production design, Tom Conroy, he spit, he picks the most amazing locations that just like, like I, I was saying that it's almost distracting how beautiful the world is that, that we get to play in. Um, but uh, yeah, no, it's a gift. I, I always leave my phone in the in the dressing room and just try to commit to being present. And also the process of making a TV series of this scale is such a pleasure with like people who are the, the masters of their crafts, you know, um, our, our, the, the crew that worked on the original Vikings is the same crew that we have the opportunity to work with. And it was like joining a family, you know, and it's such a well-oiled machine. And yeah, it was, yeah, we just had to show up and, um, yeah, and do our part. Yeah. And speaking of your filmmakers, I was so excited when I heard that it was Jeb Stewart doing it because he, yeah, created the best action film of all time. Let's be honest. That's that's a that's a mark of approval, right there. <laughs> the fact that he he wrote Die Hard. That's yeah. insane. Get to work with him. I mean, he's a he's such a legend of of screenwriting. That must have been so much fun. A legend to... and an amazing collaborator as well. And he was mm. from very early on in the process. He was very clear that this was going to be a collaboration and a team effort. And the way he helped us and guided us all through through this story was was really inv invaluable. Yeah. yeah was very grateful for yeah collaboration is definitely the word i'd associate with jeb and openness like we spoke very deeply about our own experiences of life our own families and um and some of the scenes you know directly reflect some really intimate moments in his life and to be um gifted the opportunity to honor those and honor you know the legacy of this show um it, it was it was certainly a gift Fantastic. Now I've been scouring, I've already spoke to some of your co-stars, I've been scouring the internet, thanks to the History Channel for giving me some fun facts about, about your show and about Vikings in general. So I'm going to chuck a fact to you and I want you guys to tell me if you think it's true or false. Okay, hopefully you all, um, it's 50% so far, so you guys have got to get the score up. So the question is, apparently, oh, gentlemen preferred being blonde. Do you think that's true or false? It's true. Gentlemen preferred being blonde. Yes. They had like hair dye, didn't they? Viking, Viking times. They apparently they, preferred blue and blonde. True or false? True. It's very true. I'm going to say true. Oh, you jumped the gun. Yeah, I thought that was quite, <laughs> a, quite a fun fact. Because also they didn't wear horns either. That was another thing yeah. I didn't see. That was, that's kind of a historical inaccuracy. But I thought it was quite telling that gentlemen preferred to be blondes in those days. I thought that was quite Where funny. Where are you getting this info, Scott? Who's yeah. told you this? The History Channel told me this. <laughs> Let's get on the blower to the history channel. Yeah. Oh, you're wrong. Yeah. <laughs> they just Rooster. wanted to have more fun. <laughs> Indeed, they did. Indeed, they did. And they did. What's the word? Skull. Is it skull? Oh. They, they oh. did. Yeah, brilliant. Gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. Absolute pleasure talking to you. And yeah, I hope you yeah. go. Yeah. Cheers, man. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Let's go. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!